Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this uh, short uh, tutorial video, I'm going to discuss about uh, RRPR manipulator and how to calculate the DH parameter for this RRPR manipulator. Okay, let's uh, go into the example uh, without further ado. Okay, so this is how this uh, manipulator would look like. So you have a base joint of theta 1 and then you have a shoulder joint of theta 2 then you have a prismatic joint here which uh, is a variable l and at the wrist also you have another joint so the joint directions are shown through the arrow and basically and this uh, prismatic joint is moving towards the right is positive so now let's uh, the first step is to assign the frame so we can assign the frame based on our rules that first one uh, in to Z should be assigned which is along the axis of rotation so this is Z0 is in up direction X0 can be assigned in any direction I have chosen it to be on the right side and then you can apply this uh, right hand rule to find out the Y0 direction for the case of Z1 it should be uh, pointed towards inward uh, towards the towards the um, uh, screen uh, because uh, if you see if you match uh, the theta 2 direction with your right hand palm the, the thumb is pointing towards the inward of the skin screen and x1 should be both perpendicular to both z0 and z0 and z1 and again you can use the right hand rule the thumb is z0 the index finger is z1 and middle finger is towards x1 for the prismatic joint, Z2 is along the axis of translation and X2 is the same rule. It should be perpendicular to both Z2 and Z1. But you can see here uh, it is not intersecting um, both Z2 and Z1. So we have to do something about it. Before that, let's assign for this frame number 3, same direction of the axis of rotation. So Z3 uh, is pointing towards right and X3 is perpendicular to both Z2 and Z3 and it is intersecting both Z2 and Z3. And the last one, the tip is uh, following the previous frame. And now uh, just to show you that what we have to do for the frame 2 that we have to shift this frame to here so that it intersects now X2 intersects both Z2 and Z3. So the frame assignment has been completed. Now we are ready for the DH table. So the DH table would look like something like this. So 0 to 1, you will have uh, A0, 1 to 2 also A0, and 2 to 3 A0, 3 to 4 A0 as well. Why? Because you can see the A0 is basically ZI minus 1 to ZI along XI. So Z0 to Z1, uh, Z0 to Z1 along X1, uh, there is no shift. Along X1, there is no shift. Similarly, Z1 to Z2 along X2, there is no shift. Z2 to Z3 along X3, there is no shift. And Z3 to Z4 along X4, there is no shift. So all these are zero. Uh, for alpha and uh, alpha 1 is 90 degree because Z0 to Z1 along X, uh, uh, you can see here uh, Z0 to Z1 along X1. So you can see here Z0 to Z1 along X1. It is 90 degree because it has to rotate 90 degree to become parallel, and it is rotated about X1, and it and it is uh, the rotation is same direction of X1. So that's why it is positive 90 degree. Similarly, Z1 to Z2 uh, is also uh, 90 degree, okay, uh, because it is similar direction to X2. So it is pointing downward, uh, Z1 to Z2. So that's why it is positive 90 degree. Uh, Z2 to Z3, uh, they are parallel, so there is no angle of twist, which is alpha, zero. So Z3 to Z4 is also parallel, so there is no angle of twist. So it is also zero. Now D is obviously uh, X0 to X1 along Z0, it is 100. And then you have uh, zero. And then finally X3 
to x4 x2 to x3 is 50 uh, because x2 to x3 along z2 is 50 uh, l plus 50 where l is a variable and x3 to x4 is 5 uh, which is uh, along z3 um, so this is d and for the case of theta uh, you can see that x0 to x1 about z0 which is 180 degree and if you rotate x1 is rotate further so it is 180 degree plus theta uh, so that's why it is 180 degree plus theta 1 for the case of x2 to x3 x2 to x3 is uh, basically 270 plus theta 2 as you can see here uh, sorry x1 to x2 so x1 to x2 you can see you have to rotate this is 270 degree so this please follow the laser pointer it is 270 degree we are following because we don't want to bring here minus um, angle so we just follow the same direction of the angle of rotation so it is you have to rotate 270 degree for it to be in line with x2 but if you rotate also theta 2 so it is 270 degree plus theta 2 so that is the case so this is the case and then is theta 3 uh, because x2 to x3 if you rotate it is basically theta 3 and same uh, last one is there is no joint so it is 0 so this is the dh table now once we have the dh table then we can go for the homogeneous transformation matrix uh, so this is basically the homogeneous transformation matrix and you will get the a01 a12 as follows and a23 and a34 oh, oh there is uh, one missing i suppose there's supposed to be one other one which is a34 and you multiply all these four then you will get the final transformation matrix uh, homogeneous transformation matrix so you can see the x coordinate is basically this l plus 55 uh, and if you rotate it uh, in downward direction so it will be cos component of this l plus 55 and then if you rotate it in theta 1 direction then it will be the another cos component of that one so that's why it is l plus 55 cos component times cos component of theta 2 and similarly uh, so it is matching with the x and y direction and for the case of y direction is basically it is l plus same thing uh, l plus 55 of sine component of theta 1 uh, sorry cos component of theta 2 and then sine component of that one uh, theta 1 so that is basically the case geometrically it is also proven and for the z is basically 100 minus because it is downward so it is minus so if you go down this theta 2 goes down so it's minus s2 l plus 55 also so you can see it's minus l plus 55 s2 so that's why it is this distance minus this height uh, how much you are going down this distance sine component of that one so this is uh, so it is matching with our geometrics uh, understanding as well so that means our calculation is correct so please cross check one more time yourself if there is any mistake do comment do send me a message uh, then i will rectify it i hope there will be no mistake thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh that's the end